why do I love the iPad? Let me count the ways. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I used this this semester for my Introductory Genetics and Evolution class. That class had an enrollment of almost 300 students. So as you can imagine, it was a little bit challenging trying to deal with those kinds of numbers. Rather than using my laptop, I actually chose to take my iPad. This, by the way, is the iPad 1. This is not the new iPad 2 yet. There was one single reason that I initially chose to use this, but actually there are a lot of reasons I ended up really enjoying having it. The single reason is when you have a PowerPoint presentation, for example, and you're giving a lecture, you lose all spontaneity, right? You're giving it, here's all your canned slides that are already made, and you can't just go up to the board and write something, for example, on top of your PowerPoint. However, with the iPad, there are apps. This, this app right here is called Two Screens, for example, where you can do exactly that. So this is a slide in the middle of some of the work I'm doing. Does that show up okay? So for example, if I had a genetic cross I wanted to do, here's a slide, for example, I was showing in my class. I, could, I would have my standard PowerPoint, I'd go to the next slide and say, okay, now let, let's say we're going to do this genetic cross where we crossed an individual that was big A, little a, to big A, big A, for example. I could then go through all the possible outcomes of that, and we could do different problems over and over again. I could say, well, let's change this one to being big A, big A. Basically, this gives me the spontaneity that I didn't have with a laptop. And I have, I have a little stylus. I'm not using it right now. But I have a little stylus I can also use for this. And this, this is really great. You can actually flip it over and have you know, a blank screen for answering questions and writing things up at, at any point in time. You can answer student questions right there where people can see what's happening on the, on the huge screen. The nice thing is it's also taped. So we use the Panopto system right now. Everything that comes on the screen through the iPad is actually taped on the system. So that is wonderful. Now, more generally, I have to say the students were just impressed seeing an iPad up there being used for a lecture, just for, for coolness factor, right? <laughs> but there's also several other features that, that I ended up using that I didn't anticipate ahead of time. So, for example, I also have an iPhone, but this would also work with an iPod Touch. There's an app you can get with your iPhone or iPod Touch where you can walk around the room and advance your slides from your iPhone or your iPod Touch. So again, it gives you that much more spontaneity. And of course, you could do that with a laptop if you had one of those little clickers. But still, this is really a nice feature. You can also go to particular slides on it. You can, you can type on your iPhone, go to slide 8, and it jumps immediately to slide 8. Or go to a blank screen, or hide the screen, or any of these things. So again, it's a little bit more functionality than you had with a standard laptop. Now, of course, I mean, there, there are detractors. And the detractors will say, well, you could do all those things with a laptop. You could pull up the keyboard and type on the screen. But it's clearly much more clunky. It's not nearly as smooth as when you have these kinds of things. with. Now, the iPad has several other apps that I use extensively for class-related topics. For example, there's a Blackboard app, which I know we're moving away from Blackboard right now to Sakai, but still, I assume there will be a Sakai app available for us very soon, too. It's very handy. It's actually far nicer than going to the website.